All right, this is my sound box here. This is the second generation. And as you can see, that's not the original tweeter. I blew through uh, four tweeters. And so I've decided to uh, DIY, uh, do it yourself, DIY. Yes, yeah, that's what the acronym I'm looking for. Uh, and I'm going to be putting this tweeter actually in close proximity of where the uh, Soundbox 3, the newest one out, their, their tweeter is center mount, which I think is a better location, uh, especially for blending of the sound. Up here is fine, uh, especially like if you're away from the speaker, but if you're up close, and especially since this is a much larger, much larger tweeter, um, uh, and it's horn, so it's just gonna be really sharp, really bright. Um, it's gonna, there's gonna be a little bit of separation if you're really, really, really up close, but I I was playing with this and listening to it, and I, uh, I DJ'd with this setup, just, I, you know, just screwed into the box like this, just to make sure that, A, the, um, it wouldn't short, the battery wouldn't burn out or anything like that, and thus far, so, uh, so far, so good. Anyway. So what we're gonna do is take this speaker out, which obviously it's painted, so if, um, I painted, I've, I got a little bored. I, I uh, put some LED lights around the trim uh, and I painted the out, outer box white and then actually uh, on the back, there is, I uh, sprayed, uh, I airbrushed some um, uh, iridescent or glow in the dark powder. So it glows, pretty cool. Anyway, that's not what we're here for. So what we're gonna do is mount this here, as you can see, this is where my hole is going to be. But we're taking this out so that way we can make sure that the hole doesn't interfere with the uh, baffle or the board that's in between um, uh, in between the two drivers. There's, uh, you can see that there's a place here and place here. And if you look inside, when I take this out, you'll see that there's a, a board, a brace, a bracket, I guess, to support the box. Uh, not necessarily a baffle, but just a, a support brace. Uh, in the box and we want to make sure that we're not going to hit that when we drop this tweeter in uh, And then of course we need to extend the wiring for the uh, tweeter From the crossover so that it'll reach down here So we're going to be doing that as well and hopefully at the end It's going to sound even better and maybe even actually be a little bit louder since this is a, a much larger diameter tweeter with a bigger magnet uh, and it's super bright, super duper bright. So it's carry is, when I was playing it, is noticeably different than the soft dome tweeter that comes with this. Uh, and it's already loud as fact, you know, factory spec, it's super loud, 124 dB, I think, something in that neighborhood. So I would speculate that this is going to give me another two or three decibels, just in, just for as loud as this is. Anyway, uh, when I open it, we'll talk more. All right. So we've got the speaker out. We're gonna take a look. So there's that brace I was talking about. And here's the collection of wires. So good news is that they've tied it up. So there's give in these wires, although it looks like, yeah, the tweeter won't have to actually be uh, amended. Uh, it'll just, I just need to get that zip tie and cut it. And then that should free up enough cable because it's just gonna go down under here. As you can see, it's amazing, well-crafted box here, solid. It's not MDF, it's uh, plywood. I think it's birch, something like that. Anyway, but it's it's light, but it's solid, and uh, it does a great job. Like I said, we just need to get a tweeter that doesn't blow after three or four sets. Uh, there's your circuitry, and of course on this side is the box for the battery. Real simple. But effective. So now, like I said, we're going to cut the wire and then we're going to drill a hole and then we're going to place the tweeter and then we'll play it and see how that goes. And then what I'll end up doing is probably saving a piece, uh, the saving that circle that I cut out, and I'm going to take it and um, try to do this. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it over this hole and I'll probably just glue it with some wood glue. It doesn't need to be pretty because I'm going to put the grill back on it and it's already black. So worst case scenario, I'll paint it black and it won't be that noticeable, but you don't want to have too many ports for the air to escape 
you know, I'm sure that they, the ports on there are put there for purpose and they, you know, designed this box to be as efficient as possible for limited space. And so an extra port would throw that off. Um, so yeah, well, so we're just going to cover that up once we put the other, put this tweeter in the new location. All right. We are with a hole. And make sure this fits inside. So the little ears, contacts, points are tapping. So we're going to cut those out or maybe move this around a little bit and see if we can get it to shimmy in. No, still gonna have to cut it a little bit, but you can see it's gonna drop real nicely right there. And I'm gonna mount it this way so that the way that the screws line up won't interfere with the woofer and uh, won't interfere with the LED lighting either. So we're almost there. Okay. It's in. No play, but it's in. I'm gonna turn this around. There we go. How about that? The logo top doesn't matter, of course, but it's in. There we go. And as you can see, that's the line where the buffer is, so it should hit without a problem. Drop this in just to make sure. So yeah, it's gonna be tight. You can see, it should be good. Yeah. There we go. Now, we're gonna have to cover this up. That'll be the next thing. All right, here we go. Tweeter is in. I've soldered the connections. I uh, had to mount a diagonal. I'm gonna flip it around again, but I had to mount a diagonal just to make sure I can get at least three screws in. I don't know if I'll be able to get a fourth in, but three screws will definitely hold it. It's a tweeter. It just shouldn't uh, be too big of a deal. Um, drilled the pilot holes in. And then uh, I painted my little black, my little cover piece black. Um, and just waiting for that to dry before I put the grill on. And I tested it, and it sounds great. And uh, I give it the official, official test. And it's all dried and put back together and I can actually get some distance and see if it actually sounds as good as I think it does but I, I think this is a great upgrade especially if you don't want to go and buy the new one which I still want to buy the new one because it's got the extra connections and it's got all the new cool little add-on features like you can run them in series and blah 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 but you know for right now this is my Soundbox 2.5. Okay, so cut a piece of uh, plywood out, then I take a hammer and a screwdriver and I split it so that I could make a piece go over that hole real nicely. And I'll paint it black so it's not noticeable. And I'm gonna glue it down, and it should be just about the height of that great screen the, the, the grill so to keep it flat and keep it stable too so that should work nice and there you have it my sound box is back together you can barely see the cover it's all black I won't ever be able to tell there is tweeter again secretly hidden behind that grill so it's all back together and I've given it a test and it's, like I said, it's solid, but I can't test it and run the video at the same time. Hint, hint, Apple. Uh, but yeah, 2.5 sound box is uh, good to go. Try it out.